Humanism was a reaction to psychoanalysis and behaviorism. Psychoanalysis was the first wave or force of psychology. It saw people in terms of unconscious motivations and internal conflicts. The second force was behaviorism. It saw people only in terms of what they did. The third force of American psychology was humanism. It said people were more than conflict-ridden neurotics or robotic responders to stimuli. It emphasized the importance of being human, hence the name humanism. Abraham Maslow helped shift psychology from behaviorism to humanism. He is often called the father of this third force of psychology. According to Maslow, people are inherently good and moving toward growth. We are not the slaves of Freudian tribes. We are headed toward the goal of reaching our full potential. This push toward growth is innate. Just as plants grow toward light, people grow more integrated, more mature, and wiser. We are in the process of being, not just existing. This growth follows a set path. It progresses systematically through a hierarchy of needs. Maslow theorized that needs are not all the same. Some needs must be met before others. People's biological and safety needs must be met first. After the essentials are met, people then can pursue their psychological and spiritual needs. D needs, D for deficit, deficit needs push people to get food, water, shelter, and safety. Once these deficits are met, progress can be made on other fronts. But before we pursue other matters, we must establish an orderly, stable environment. We need food and water to sustain life and maintain equilibrium. And we need to satisfy safety needs for our long-term success. If we don't fill the deficit, we can't move on. Metamotivation, on the other hand, is the push of being, be needs. Our psychological needs push us to seek love, belonging, self-esteem, and self-actualization. Maslow assumed that the higher needs could only be met after the basic ones had been satisfied. An extension of his philosophy into social policy might be to solve world hunger before world peace. Hunger would take precedence over safety, and safety would take precedence over love and belonging. According to this view, people can't find love and belonging until their physical and safety needs are met. Although Maslow didn't invent the idea of self-actualization, he certainly popularized the term. For him, self-actualization was people at their best. It was the ultimate in human development, the best one could possibly be. It was both a process and the ultimate goal. Self-actualization wasn't simply what one did once in their life, it was how people should best live their lives. To help define it, Maslow selected people he thought represented this ideal. The list included Abraham Lincoln, Albert Einstein, Thomas Jefferson, Mahatma Gandhi, and William James. It wasn't an exhaustive list, more a sampling of personal favorites. Eleanor Roosevelt made the list, but FDR didn't. Everyone has those mystical moments in life when you feel both infinitely small and eternally connected. You go to the ocean or the mountains and feel both more alone and more connected. Self-actualized people, says Maslow, have more of these peak experiences than the rest of us. Like Freud, Maslow based his conclusions on logical arguments, not empirical data. His armchair philosopher approach was theoretical and deductive. He offered no proof of his assertions, no experiments, no naturalistic observations, and no clinical data. So it's not surprising that there are inconsistencies in his model. Many examples can be given of situations that don't fit Maslow's model. People who are poor or hungry do show love and affection. Police, firefighters, military, missionaries, and Peace Corps workers regularly give up safety and physiological needs in order to help others. Also like Freud, an inconsistent theory doesn't make Maslow's approach unhelpful or unpopular. Maslow highlights what behavior is ignored. He emphasized the importance of love, self-esteem, and personal fulfillment. Instead of stimuli eliciting reflexes, Maslow suggests that people can think, have goals, and strive to reach their full potential. Instead of external rewards and punishments, people have an internal need to be creative, social, and productive. None of these ideas are included in behaviorism.